Hello everybody, and I am ready here to do yet another video, but since I'm kind of on an animation buzz right now after doing my, after doing a review on all three of the films in the Animated Tolkien Trilogy, I figured I'd go and uh, do another animated film, and this time I'm going to do this little known film, which is slowly getting attention, is the 1977 animated film Wizards. Wizards was done by Ralph Bakshi, who of course, uh, the year after Wizards, he would go on to do The Lord of the Rings. And I, I keep thinking that it was this movie that possibly got him the directing gig for Wizards, but I realized, I found out that, uh, no, he'd been trying to do Lord of the Rings for a couple of years prior to doing Wizards. <clears throat> now, for those of you that aren't familiar with Wizards, I'll try to get a little quick rundown. Like I said, this was a little-known animated movie that came out in 1977. It was actually released by 20th Century Fox. And um, it got put in theaters, and although it did very well, it got shoved to the side and pushed out pretty quickly once uh, it got released. Once uh, Star Wars came out, and would you believe the original title for this movie was actually supposed to be called War Wizards, but they took the name War out because obviously Star Wars competing with Wizards, War Wizards. Yeah, they had to take that title out. So anyway, Wizards. Uh, What's the story about? The story is a bit convoluting, but I'll try to talk it as best I can. Basically, the war, the world is destroyed after a nuclear holocaust. Millions of years pass, and uh, what's left of humanity mutates into monsters. And uh, then all the fantasy creatures of the past, like fairies, dwarves, and elves, suddenly emerge, and they begin to repopulate the world. So you could say it's almost like, you know, life, re life is given a second chance to rebuild itself, almost. And uh, after a thousand years of peace, a fairy queen named Delia ends up giving birth to two pair to two wizards. Uh, both are twins, and uh, Avatar, the good wizard, not not a lie. <laughs> that's not <laughs> that's actually the truth. Avatar, long before Avatar: Last Airbender and James Cameron's Avatar, we have actually got a good wizard named Avatar. So he's the good wizard, and Black Wolf is the bad one. And so, yeah, they're pretty much polar opposites. The Fairy Queen dies, and uh, Avatar and Black Wolf ultimately fight. Black Wolf is banned from the land forever, but he uh, manages to take refuge in the land called Scorch, where he begins to slowly build his army up, and he plans to basically just pretty much modifies himself into a modern-day Adolf Hitler and pretty much begins to, you know do whatever it takes to take over the entire world once again. And Avatar basically uh, proceeds to end the war forever by going into Scorch with just a, a fairy named Eleanor, a, an elf named Weehawk, and one of Black Wolf's assassins who he managed to reprogram, who's this guy here on the cover, and they reprogram him into the character named Peace to go to Scorch and kill Black Wolf and end the war forever. So that's pretty much the gist of the film in a nutshell. Yeah, it's a lot to take in. And only for, for a movie that's like 80 minutes in length, it really does pack a whole lot into one film. And the movie is literally a kaleidoscopic feast for the eyes. That's all I got to say about the film. It is incredible. The visuals are amazing. The animation, while, you know, if anybody is familiar with Ralph Bakshi's work, it's not state-of-the-art. It's not the kind of animation you'll see in a Disney film. It's pretty much on par with Lord of the Rings, but the illustrations are incredible. Oh, man. It is literally stuff that's like right out of a comic book or right out of a heavy metal magazine. Oh, man. It is beautiful. The animation is... The illustrations are beautiful to look at. So, I've, uh, I've owned the DVD for many years before I decided to get the Blu-ray for Wizards. Uh, Wizards was one of those films that grew such a big following that around the early 2000s, when DVD started to become a mainstream thing, there were actually fans petitioning 20th Century Fox to get Wizards released on DVD. Now, I no longer own the DVD, but if, yeah, if I had it, I would show it here, but unfortunately I don't. I gave it away a long time ago after I got the Blu-ray. But the DVD was a welcoming sight because I was like, oh, I didn't know Ralph Bakshi had, did this movie. So I saw it in the store and picked it up, and I was like, wow. This is pretty, this is interesting. I got to give it that. So, with all that said, what's the, uh, 
Uh, anyway, uh, the, like I said, the movie was a moderate hit when it came out in theaters. It got mostly mixed responses by critics. Even to this day, it still kind of has a bit of a mixed response because some people uh, either, like I said, when it comes to Ralph Bakshi's work, you either get it or you don't. Lord of the Rings is like that as well. I mean, right now, I would, like I said in one of my, in my Lord of the Rings review, the animated film, I think, either it started to get more attention, and that's when I think more people began to, rec to discover it after the Peter Jackson version came out. But <clears throat> anyway, time to talk about the Blu-ray. Honestly, Wizards actually got a pretty solid release here on Blu-ray by Fox. This is the 35th anniversary edition. It's also limited, and uh, it's very rare to find. I actually got it pretty cheap when it debuted. Um, basically, it's one of those Digibook Blu-rays. So yeah, as you can see here, it's a Digibook release. Sorry, my fingers are in the way. So yeah, basically, Digibooks are... Yeah, the Blu-ray, I'll get to it. Basically, what you get here is like a book that has like illustrations and photographs and some text information about the movie itself. And there's also some, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, there's also some uh, artwork that, uh, yeah, there's Avatar as he is in the movie, and there's Black Wolf. Yeah, Avatar is, yeah, you can obviously see they're way different, but that's obviously how Ralph Bakshi uh, designed the characters. He obviously want yeah, here's some illustrations and artwork that, yeah, this stuff here, I don't remember any of this in the movie, but obviously it was probably done for, uh, yeah, you can see here there's uh, obviously storyboard uh, art. On the Blu-ray, though, you can actually look. There's like There are still galleries that actually show, uh, you know, here's some, uh, these are unused poster titles that were, uh, that were probably used for the movie. So, yeah, like I said, it's, it's pretty neat that you actually get, get something like this. Digibook Blu-rays are pretty cool, actually. And yeah, here's some fairy drawings, and there's Eleanor, as she is in the movie. <laughs> and that's that, and there's the Blu-ray. Yeah, unfortunately, it's in, like, a cardboard sleeve, but it's pretty neat, though. It actually holds in pretty good. So that's the Blu-ray. <clears throat> that's the case, though, that is. Anyway, for the uh, video quality on the blue on the Blu-ray, it actually looks pretty good. I mean... I would say it looks sharper and more cleaner than The Lord of the Rings, but probably because it's a Fox release, as you can see there. Yeah, the logo ain't going to come out very well, but yeah, it's the spine for the movie. Yeah, it's a, it's a, very, thin, it's a very thin book. But uh, yeah, it was a Fox release, and usually Fox Blu-rays tend to come out really well. Well, oh yeah, it's not Fox anymore. It's now 20th Century Studios now, because it's now owned by Disney. <laughs> but yeah, i uh, but like I said, it is a very, I mean, the, the picture quality is good, but as with most of Ralph Bakshi's movies, as I've said in my Lord of the Rings video, the Warner Brothers basically just kind of took the video for the Lord of the Rings and they just bumped it up to 1080p high def. That's pretty much what Fox did with Wizards. But it's almost like they took the, uh, the print from the DVD and they sort of just like practically up-converted it to high def. And the print that's on the DVD for Wizards actually isn't too bad. It's actually, it was in good quality. So I have to give it this. But overall, the Blu-ray, the video quality, I would say out of five stars, I would give it three and a half. Definitely a three and a half out of five because it looks good. The illustrations come out very well. The animation, like I said, animation is good to a point, but it has that crude drawn look to it there is a lot of print damage that shows up but like i said the visuals are amazing i i also i almost want to give this a blu-ray a four you know what i probably will out of five stars instead of a three and a half i'm going to bump it up to a four because this really is a visual feast yeah there's a lot of grain there's a lot of print damage that pops up but don't let that deter you the video quality is pretty stunning to say the least especially for a 70s animated movie as for the audio, once again, it sounds really good. The, the sound effects, the explosions, the dialogue all come out very well. The sound effects are all done very well, perfectly. And the music is great, too. It, 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 fits, it accompanies the film very well. So out of five stars for Wizard, for the audio, I would give it a four, once again. As for bonus materials... Uh, the Digibook Blu-ray, as I've shown you, is just one of the extras on the disc. Well, 
as a physical extra, I would say. Yeah, as a physical extra, but there actually are some actual bonus features on the Blu-ray. You actually get a commentary with Ralph Bakshi, one of the very few that he actually recorded. And it's actually nice to hear him talk about his own movie in great detail. There's also a documentary that runs about 35 minutes long, and it's pretty much a 35-minute interview with Ralph Bakshi as he talks about his own movie. A lot of the stuff he mentions in the uh, Blu-ray, he brings up in the commentary. So a lot of the information is kind of, a lot of the information is pretty much repeated. But again, it's nice to see Ralph talk about his own film. There's also some trailers. There's some storyboard galleries that pretty much show like all the storyboards and illustrations that were used for the movie itself. So it's not a big selection of bonus material, but what's on there though will be enough to satisfy fans. And Ralph Bakshi is. This is actually one of his personal favorites of all the movies he did. And he had been actually trying to get a sequel made for this movie for years. And I think he still has the uh, <clears throat> pardon me, sequel in development. So whether or not a second Wizards movie gets made, I don't know. I wouldn't mind seeing this as a live-action movie because this has a lot of potential to be a great live-action film. And if this wasn't crazy enough, check this out. I actually have the soundtrack on CD for Wizards, the score by Andrew Belling. The score for Wizards is kind of uh, an interesting one because uh, it's kind of a combination of pop music, has a little bit of disco music, and a lot of 70s pop vibe, like sort of like a rock score to it too. So a lot of it is very synthetic, very little orchestral, but for the most part, it's actually a nice soundtrack that accompanies the movie perfectly. And it's in a limited edition, so don't expect to find this at a cheap price. I, I got it. I was lucky to find it at a cheap price when I looked for it. So overall, yeah, it's a limited edition of 2,000 units. So this soundtrack is really, it's very rare to find. And unfortunately, so is the Blu-ray. It's also very rare to find. Last I checked on Amazon, they it was like a hundred and nine. It was like 129 dollars brand new, and they were selling it used for about somewhere between 75 to 90. But for those of you that have yet to discover this movie, thankfully the DVD is still in good, uh, you can still get it at a good price. There's a DVD on Amazon for Wizards, the original Fox DVD. You can get it for five bucks. So if I were you, if, I mean, if you're still, if you're still not familiar with this movie, definitely give it a watch. This is actually an interesting animated film. And it's one of my personal favorites because I really like the concept I like how for an 80-minute film, it has a lot of material packed into it for one film. And it is kind of disappointing that the uh, the front cover for the Blu-ray only has peace. And you're probably wondering why the horses only have two legs. It's because uh, Ralph Bakshi found it cheaper to animate the horses with two legs instead of four. So that, that solves that problem. But yeah, don't let the cover there fool you. This movie has so much packed into it, it's ridiculous. So my final judgment rating uh, for the movie itself, once a, I would give it a 4 out of 5. I mean, I like it. I'm not like a huge lover of the movie. Well, huge lover, maybe not the term I'd use, but I'm a fan, you know, to say the least. I mean, of course, I got the Blu-ray, and of course, I ended up getting the soundtrack. It's obvious I'm a fan, but like I said... It's a fun movie. It, it does drag in a few spots, but for the most part, for the most part, it's entertaining to say the least. So the bottom line, the Blu-ray is a, it's actually a good one. It's a solid release. It's not perfect. It's not going to be it's not going to stack up to a lot of animated films like especially a lot of the stuff Disney puts out, but it uh, it, it gets the job done very well. The video is good in many ways. There's a few problematic spots, but again, the video is spot on. Audio is once again pretty strong. It sounds good. The extras are plentiful. Not a lot, but what's there is really good. And if, for anybody that did buy the Digibook Blu-ray, it does kind of sweeten the deal with the, uh, with the pages of information that's inside the book here. Sorry. Yeah, it does kind of sweeten the deal. But the only problem is this is a very difficult, this is a very, not an easy one to find at a very cheap price. So for, again, those of you that have yet to discover the movie, as I said, the blue the DVD is worth five bucks on Amazon. So you can go there and pick up a copy of that and check this movie out for the first time. 
most of the extras that are on the Blu-ray, in fact, uh, most of the stuff that's on there, is all, it all comes from the DVD. So all the extras I mentioned, the commentary, the behind-the-scenes stuff, the storyboards, the trailers, you'll get all that on the DVD. So, And for those of you that are lucky to own the soundtrack, and again, like I said, very rare and hard to find. So anyway, and, uh, I think that's enough out of me. So honestly, I like I said, go check it out. I recommend Wizards. If you're into animation, definitely check it out. So, this concludes the presentation. Hope you enjoyed it. Everybody have a good day, and take care.